The quantum moon is one of Outer Wilds' most interesting locations. The moon exists in one of six possible orbits at any time, either orbiting the Hourglass Twins, Brittle Hollow, Timber Hearth, Giant's Deep, Dark Bramble, or, in its final sixth location, orbiting the Eye of the Universe. The Eye of the Universe is the end destination of an Outer Wilds playthrough, and is the original planet which the quantum moon is said to orbit. When you beat the game, the game loads a new level for the Eye of the Universe, meaning that when playing normally in the solar system level, the Eye simply doesn't exist in the game yet. When the quantum moon is said to be orbiting the Eye of the Universe, it seems to just vanish from the level entirely. But of course this can't be the entire explanation, because you can be standing on the quantum moon when it changes location, and there's no loading screen bringing you to the Eye of the Universe. So where is it? It's there, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's right over there, actually, uh, the, the mystery, uh, mystery salt. The way the quantum moon works is you have this root game object, which handles its cloud layer and its orbit and whatnot, and then you have six game objects attached to that, one for each state. So if this state game object here is active, that means we see the terrain of its timber hearth state, or this one here shows us Brittle Hollow. Using the Unity Explorer mod, I can just enable all the states at once. It looks kind of funny. So displaying the terrain for the sixth location is easy enough. The game just switches which of these six objects is visible, and you see the Eye of the Universe terrain. For the different orbits, it just teleports the entire object to that location, and sets it orbiting around whatever planet it is. For the regular quantum moon states, when you fly off the moon, you're already in orbit around whatever planet it is, so you find yourself floating around in orbit around that planet. For the sixth location state of the quantum moon, uh, you can't even leave through the clouds into regular space like you do on all the other states. You instead go through this wormhole that takes you back to the Timber Hearth state, and then you can exit again into orbit around Timber Heart. Since there is no way for you to get to the Eye of the Universe through the Quantum Moon, it doesn't matter that it isn't really orbiting it. So while the Giant's Deep state of the Quantum Moon orbits around Giant's Deep, and the Dark Bramble state of the Quantum Moon orbits around Dark Bramble, the Eye of the Universe state just orbits around the Sun while invisible. The only bit about its location that does actually matter is when the Sun goes supernova. If you're on, say, the Timber Hearth state of the Quantum Moon, you get killed by the exploding sun at the same time Timber Hearth does. But if you're at the sixth location, the supernova isn't meant to reach you. The radius of the exploding sun is about 30 kilometers, so they had to keep it just outside that radius to ensure you don't get melted. At least that's what I thought. When testing it, my time loop was reset before the sun even exploded. I'm not really sure what that's about. I think maybe it's meant as sort of like a failsafe, where, as I mentioned before, when you leave the sixth location, it brings you to the Timber Hearth state. And if the sun had already started exploding and had consumed Timber Hearth, and you got sent back there to a location potentially within the supernova, you'd you know immediately burn to death. It might be a bit weird. I also find it interesting the fact that the quantum moon keeps orbiting something when it's supposed to be at the Eye of the Universe. Other hidden locations in the game, like the interior of Dark Bramble, are completely static. After all, there's no reason why they'd be moving if you can't see the sky or can't see it from space. I suppose it was just easier to have the quantum moon orbit the sun than to instead code a specific way to have it remain motionless somewhere, since they were able to just reuse the exact same code that they have, which swaps it between orbits of different planets and instead they just put in the sun as the planet and had it orbit that. So in the end, when the quantum moon is said to be orbiting the eye of the universe, it's actually orbiting the sun, past the orbits of all the other planets. If you're not on it, all its graphics and colliders are disabled, and if you are there, then you can't even see into space because of the cloud cover, so it doesn't matter that you're just orbiting the sun. Well, thanks for watching. Since I got a really positive reception on the Dark Bramble video, I decided to make another one looking into how Outer Wilds works. If this video does well, I'll go ahead and do one on the Dream World from the Echoes of the Eye DLC. I think it's kind of interesting how they do that. So if you want to see that, uh, be sure to like and subscribe and all, all that other call to action type stuff that, that you're supposed to say that you're supposed to say in a video. I, uh, I, uh...
Okay, bye.